mother sent me to see you. Yes. You see, we haven't seen or heard of my brother Joe for so long. And mother thought, after what we've read in the paper... That I might be your brother Joe. Yes, that's it. Well, you can easily see I'm not your brother, can't you? I'm not sure. You look a little like him. Just like the picture in the paper did. But it's been so long. As a matter of fact, I can't be your brother. Or anybody else's brother, for that matter, because I've never had a sister. So that rather settles it, don't you think? Honestly? Honestly. What's your real name? Dyke. James Dyke. That is sure enough your name? Sure enough. I'm gonna be executed in a few hours. You don't think I would tell a lie at this stage of the game, do you? No, I don't believe you would. Where were you born? Canada. But I've lived all over. Did you ever live in Russia? No, never. What kind of work did you do? I'm sort of a jack of all trades. Been about everything a man could be. Except to success. Do you like books? Books? Yes, books. To read? Yeah, I read when there's nothing better to do. I've read a lot in here. Do you know any poetry? None to speak of. Good night, good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be tomorrow. Don't you know what that is? No. To tell you the truth, it sounds rather stupid to me, don't you think? Goodbye. You're not Joe, are you? You had to come and find out. I hope you didn't mind too much. You're not going now, are you? Yes. I promised the warden I'll go right away if you weren't my brother, and you aren't. Going back to see your mother? Yes. I was surprised to learn that she sent a girl like you on a sorry errand She's like this. She's very sick. Oh. It's too bad. No, she's not well at all. And most of it is from worrying about Joe. Well, still. Can you tell her that her son isn't a murderer? At least he is in this one. That should relieve her mind some, don't you think? Well, I don't think Mother will ever be really well again until she finds out where Joe is and what become of him. Mothers ought not to be treated like that. I wish I treated mine better. By the way, you didn't tell me your name. Josephine Paris. Paris. Your brother's name was Joseph? Yes. Joseph Anthony Paris. That's the name. Wait. Sit down. Now I want you to listen very carefully to what I have to say and don't interrupt me. Because we only have a minute and I want to make sure you get this all straight so you can tell your mother. When the war came along, I enlisted with the Canadians and was sent overseas to France. Early one morning, we were coming back from a trench raid. And there was this officer who had been wounded. He was just lying out there in a shell hole under fire, screaming. There wasn't anything we could do for him. Just listening to him was driving us crazy. Well, all of a sudden, this young guy, from a few trenches over, he jumps up and he, he makes a run out there for that officer. He must have known the odds were a million to one against him, but he went anyways. The Jerry's opened up on him with rifles, machine guns, mortars. Somehow he got through that curtain of fire and he got to that officer. He picked him up in his arms and he started back and we were just screaming, run! Go, you bastard, run! He only got about five yards before 5.9 landed on top of the two of them. Later that night, we crawled out there and got what was left. The name on the identification tag. It's Joseph. Anthony Paris. <laughs> I 
that was your brother's name. And you can tell your mother that he died as a brave man and a soldier in France. Brother Cho is dead. In the field of battle. It's one of those wonderful heroic things that went almost unnoticed. Like so many of them did. And you were there? And saw it? I was there and I saw it. And if you don't believe me, you can just ride up to the war office in Ottawa. Only those records are in very bad shape. I don't know what happened to half of those men. But I've told you the truth. And it certainly should make your mother happy knowing that her son died as a soldier in France, not as a criminal. Thank you. You've done more for me and mother than I can possibly tell you. And I'm so sorry for you. And I wish is there anything I could do for you? Now that you mention it, in all the months I've been in this hideous place, you're the first girl I've seen. I didn't ever expect to see one again. I'd forgotten how much like angels women look. It's been terribly lonesome in here, tonight especially. If you really wanted to do something for me, for your brother Joe's sake, See, I don't have a sister, or anyone else for that matter, to say goodbye to me. So if you could, just really say goodbye. said it to him once more for goodbye. What was it? I told it to you once. You said it was stupid. Say it again. Sleep in peace, so sweet to rest. <laughs> 